What is up everyone? Rancer is a 4 here. Welcome to another update video for April this month. Um, it is April the um, 11th of 2013 and, and, another, and I do want to mention quickly that I will be doing update videos about once a month. or So it all depends though what happens in, in every month. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is um, is that there's going to be a game coming out next week. Um, oh, actually, no, I shouldn't mention that, actually. I want to talk about my school thing going on. Um, tomorrow is going to actually be my last day for school and that, actually, for college and that. Because tomorrow's going to be my last official test in that, that, which is for my health class and that. So, once I'm done the test tomorrow, I have no more classes after that. I'm done. For the college for, for so, so far until the fall, so I got so I got um, mid April, so I got April, May, June, July, August, and September. So almost six months of summer vacation, and until um, until the fall semester, which I got an appointment with to talk about what are the classes I might take now for the next uh, for the next semester. Um, And along with that, um, next Tuesday, on April 16th, 2013, is the day that, um, one of the most, is the day that Injustice Gods Among Us comes out. And um, I have played it, the demo version of the game with my friend uh, Dark Prince of Persia 1 in that. And the demo was definitely good, but there were some few problems we did encounter, though, about it, though. But it, but it is just a demo version of the game, like the earlier version before its final version. So I'm still excited and hope I still I'm still excited for the game and stuff. Um, and um, what you're going to be expecting from the Injustice Gods Among Us gameplay is um, is a few things. Um, number one, the first thing you're going to be expecting in that is um, is on Tuesday my friend will be coming over around noonish o'clock or earlier in that, and we're going to be playing some day one Injustice matches. No. And we're just, we're not going to look up comms or anything, we're just going to mess around with the game. Just try to do some stuff, random things, learn something, or whatever. And so forth. Um, what you're also going to be expecting from next week from the game Injustice is um, you're also going to see me do the story mode again. Because I have played the story mode in Mortal Kombat 9, my friends, whenever I visit him. And I'm going to see the story mode in Mortal Kombat 9 is pretty interesting, so... Since this game is being made by the same people who made Mortal Kombat, I'm, I'm actually excited to see what the story will be like. And the story looks like it might be interesting. What you're also going to be seeing is, I'm going to also attempt to do, I'm going to do the challenge mode of the game, or pretty much the mission mode of the game, which they call it the Star Labs missions. Now, which, which similar to Mortal Kombat, it has hundreds of them, on that for, and, and there's a certain amount for each character, and that's all. Now it'll be interesting to see, really, um, and once I actually play them for a bit, I'm also going to probably do maybe the arcade mode, ladder mode, well, I prefer calling it ladder mode because it's made by the people who made Mortal Kombat, but anyways, I, I'm going to do the ladder mode for some characters, actually, and then once I learn as much about the game as I possibly can, I'm going to do some online matches also next week in that, too, in that to see how I play. For those who might be wondering, what characters am I going to try to learn? Well, after I finish the day one matches with my friend Dark Prince or Virgil on Tuesday, the characters I'm going to actually learn, pretty honestly, is Cyborg, Captain Marvel, possibly him, and most definitely Raven. I am, I'm actually pretty interested in trying out Raven, actually, like, besides Cyborg, Raven was actually one of my favorite characters from the Teen Titans show, because he's all, like, silent and all, and talk, but... But sometimes she has some funny moments and all. And she's actually pretty memorable on that show. And so I'm extremely excited for that. And um, so that's what you're going to be seeing next week for Injustice. Now, I do also want to point out one thing, though. This might be important to those who are fans of my Smash Brothers videos that I want to mention. Um, the first thing I want to mention is, th so what you're going to be seeing this summer is... Um, I won't promise anybody about this. I will try the best I can. I am actually going to bring, go back and play Smash Bros. Brawl Home a contest again. So you'll be seeing me play, 
it again in that, but I am going to do the replays for it. Um, I'm hoping that maybe one of my YouTube subscribers is available during the summer to help me edit the videos. Um, if they can't do it for a while, then the possible chance of um, a Smash Bros. video being uploaded is very small. Though, like I said, I'm not going to promise anybody about it, but I will try anyway this summer I can. I always try, you know, but every time it happens, I either get plans to do or something like that. Yeah. So, that's what... So you might see some Smash Bros. video, and and I do want to mention some little bit of news actually in terms of the next Smash Bros. sequel, the one coming out for the Wii U and the 3DS. There has been a lot of confirmation confirmations from Sakurai, the director of the franchise. He has mentioned he apparently Sakurai actually has this arm infection injury, where he can only play try and test the game with only one hand and an arm. Uh, and there's a possible chance he announced it, that there's a good chance he's going to have to delay the game for a while. So Nintendo announced it before that th they're going to show us screenshots of the next Smash Bros. game and what it's going to be like. But keep in mind, though, it's not being developed by Hell Laboratory anymore. It's actually being developed by Namco Bandai and uh, Sora LTD, which Sora LTD actually helped develop the Kid Icarus Uprising game for the 3DS. And that's so... Uh, I don't know how Namco Bandai and Sora are going to change it a little bit. Like, I hope they keep the gameplay similar. Like, I don't really care if they add any characters, because all I want them to fix, though, which Sakurai said that he's going to fix, is this. If Matanai is going to be in the game, he needs to be nerfed down badly. He needs to be nerfed down until he's like a decent character. The online play has to be much better than Sprawls, because I'll be honest, Sprawls online play was laggy as fuck. It was like as hell and so forth. I hope that they do fix this thing, okay? That's that's just what I want to mention. Um that um and so that's actually pretty much it for the channel update. It's pretty much about injustice videos next week. Um college being done, plans for the summer and that. And uh I'll see you guys for the next update video. So enjoy.